ओके सो वेलकम बैक गाइस टू दिस लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर फॉर्म सीरीज एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू रेंडर आउट आवर फॉर्म ओके सो दिस इज दी लाइक रिजल्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट आफ्टर रेंडरिंग आवर सिमुलेशन सो यू कैन सी लाइक यू नो दिस लिक्विड इट्स लाइक हैविंग दैट ब्लैक बैकग्राउंड एंड वील सी हाउ वी कैन डू दैट एंड यू नो वी आर हैविंग ऑल दैट फॉर्म सफ ओके ऑल राइट सो यू कैन सी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस सिमुलेशन एंड इट्स टाइम टू सेव इट टू दी डिस्क so i'll make a new geometry folder and i'll call it flip mesh okay and i'll copy this uh, so as of now i'll just turn off these guys and i'll just copy this flip come over here and i'll put a dop io so once again you can refer to our basic flip tutorials if you want to you know know about all these nodes in lot of depth because i've already covered all those topics and those tutorials are like available for free you can just check them out i'm not going to go on very deep on these nodes fine let's choose uh, the preset as flip fluid and you'll see we'll get some particles like this okay so the next thing that you want to do is like add a fluid compress so as i told you like this node is like really important it can save your uh, it can save a lot of disk space one thing which it asks for is like the particle separation so make sure your particle separation is like set to a right value okay and now we can just add a you know i mean now you need to save it to the disk so you know i can add a file cache and i'll change it to explicit so it doesn't makes lot of folder i'll go over here and make a new folder and maybe i'll call it form i'm just doing it temporarily and you know i'll come over here and i'll make a new folder again and i'll call it flip particles and over here i'll just write something like dollar f so that it executes for all the frame okay so we have that so for the tutorial series you know i'm not going to like for the tutorial sake i'm not going to save it like save every frame i'll just click on this save to like single frame you can choose the frame range so it saves all the frame i'll just change it to single frame and i click on this save to disk okay So once that happens, you know, now we'll be able to load this frame from the disk itself. You can see, okay. So if I just turn hide other objects, you know, we can load it from the disk. Okay. Right now, because it's saved in the RAM, that's why it's showing. But if I disconnect this, and now you can see, we can load it from the disk. Fine. Now what I can do is I need to add a particle fluid surface, okay, in order to convert these particles into a mesh, and just make sure once again that your, you know. the particle separation is set to a right value okay and once you're done with that you know you can change some settings you can see like here <clears throat> you know we have this uh, like this mesh is like not really proper so what we can do is you know uh, we can just come to our flip and we can use like a boolean technique so you can see the mesh is looking really good over here okay i mean the particles they are like not uh, going out from here or anything but if you see our mesh you can see you know it's having some issues over here so we can fix that really easily I can go over here into this flip solver, and I'll just do a right-click parameter and channels and parameter. Okay, so I mean the values are like really simple five 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 zero zero zero. Fine. So I'll just turn this off, and I'll just go to my regions, click on this use bounding box, and you know we can just paste our relative references of size and the center. Okay, and now if I turn this on the particle fluid surface, let's see. you can see we'll get something like this and just make sure you click on this closed boundaries so you know you will have your mesh back now you can see you know uh, we won't have anything which will come out from here and this thing will just work okay so this is just an optional thing if you want you can do that if you don't want just leave it fine all right so now i think we are ready for the uh, the rendering part but just uh, you know <clears throat> because this meshing part this also takes lot of time so we can save this to the disk as well so i can just click over here and now i can say i can make a new folder and i'll call it flip mesh let's go inside this and let's make a uh, let's put a dollar f and once again i'll just save a single frame you can just save all the frames okay you have to do that and now if i click on this you know we can basically load it from the disk itself okay fine so now i can put a null over here and i can call it flip mesh Okay, I'll just call it mesh because I'm so lazy. Okay, all right. So let's do a control C, and okay, we don't need to do a control C or anything. I can we can just render this folder out. Okay, all right. So 
let's go to our render view okay and let's click on this render and you can see we will get something like this so it's time to add an environment light and hdri so let's click on this and let's load a map let's go to this desktop and i have an hdri over here i have i mean i have everything on my desktop okay so <laughs> i can just load it from there okay so we have this now let's go to material palette and you know i've already made some of the materials before when i was testing out testing it out i'll just delete everything so that you don't feel cheated okay so yeah i don't need this principal shader we can just go over here into this basic liquid drag and drop it and double click on that and let's drag it draw drag and drop it on our mesh itself and you will see our mesh it will start having some color and uh, all that you know and this doesn't really looks good so i can just click on this enable diffuse and that will disable it and right now the problem is you know like we are having uh you know like we are having like lots of refraction in the water and it's like showing all the hdri which you are having in our scene also like maybe by default your this thing is on render light geometry and if you if that is on again you can you can see the render light but if you if you like see uh my like original render you can see like the background is like completely black and doing this like you know there are lots of ways i'll just show you like one cool trick which i like to do okay however we can use uh, some of this uh, rendering mask and all okay but what i'll do is you know uh, i'll just come over here and i'll make a sphere and that will just put that sphere into my geometry folder i will click on the show all objects and what i'm going to do is i'll increase this rows and columns i mean i don't really need to do that i'll just put it something like this and i'll increase this uniform scale fine and now i will add a clip node so if i put a clip node over here i can just decrease this and i can put it to primitives below the plane you know so we will have something like this fine now if i go back to my render view let's see what do we get so we will have our mesh and you can see now it's not being refracted because you know all the lights it's uh, all the lights are being blocked by our sphere so let's put some material on our sphere itself okay and you know let's put it like that and i'll just put the albedo multiplier to the zero and also the reflectivity to zero so you know it will be just a black background and yeah so that is what i want that is exactly what i want and you can you can see like we are getting something like this and i think that is working so we are getting close to this render okay and now it's time to render out our uh, foam okay all right so once again let's go over here copy this foam control c okay and let's put a new geometry and we'll call it white water let's go inside it and now let's add a dop io let's paste this dop network and let's choose particles over here okay uh, let's do this hydrogen objects and you can see we can bring our white water uh, as particles okay so one thing that i like to that i really like to do is you know because it has lots of attributes it has a velocities and so many things and that will make you know because we cannot use fluid compress over here we can really decrease the size of this particles okay so one thing you need to remember is like if you decrease like if you remove the attributes like velocity and stuff your simulation will be lot less size but the problem is you won't be able to render it with motion blur you'll have to calculate the velocities again so anyways i'm not going to use the motion blur because the great mantra won't be able to handle and my tiny you know laptop also won't be able to handle that okay so anyways i can just put this attribute delete over here and you know i can come over here and i can put a star i mean asterisk and you know that will just delete all the attributes and i can just null it out and obviously before that i can use a file cache or what i can do is i can just you know i can just copy this file cache from here control c come over here and let's paste it <clears throat> and i'll change the location so i can call i can make a new folder and i'll call it white water particles fine that is done let's put a dollar f over here let's click on accept and you know i can just save a single frame that will do the job <clears throat> okay and you know now it can load it from the disk fine 
so we have everything working and now i think we can start rendering out our simulation okay let's render it out and let's see what do we get okay so we can see right away we are getting these big spheres and let's see what's happening over here so basically these uh, this white water it's rendering as small spheres i mean they are not small they are big we can change it it's very easy just to go to this render tab go to this geometry and at this point scale change it to 0.1 because we have also deleted all the attributes so it's not really taking that uh, p scale value with itself and you can see yeah now this is looking more like foam i mean it doesn't looks like anything like foam but yeah we are getting there okay fine now let's make a material for foam however there are like some default materials for foam and all but i don't really like to use it i like to make my own material and believe me that works better than most of the pre made foam materials so i'll just put a principal shader over here and you know I'll just go to this base color and I can I can just put it to one one one. Make sure roughness is set to zero. The reflective reflectivity is set to one. And now you can see it's looking like some cocaine powder. But you know we don't want that. I don't want to get busted. So I'll change it uh, to foam itself. Okay. So here the opacity scale is set to zero point. I mean it's set to one. Let's change it to something like point zero two. And let's see what do we get. Alright, so you can see we are getting something like this, and I think that is working. The thing is, like, it's terribly slow. So I can just go to my output, and you know, I can like really increase my noise level to 0.1 or something. Now let's see, you know, what do we get? Alright, so you can see we have got something like this, and you know, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay. So now we can render out our liquid also. Okay. So let's just go back. into our object level and i'll just turn on my flip mesh and my sphere so my sphere is the one which is like blocking the lights and everything now you know we can just go back to this output and maybe we can decrease this value so that depends upon what kind of pc you are having you can go you know 2.01 and that will take like 5 to 10 minutes for every frame i mean it's worth the wait if you want something like this i mean if you want a quality like this which is like completely noise free okay so I mean yeah we are almost done for this part so let's see what do we get i'll just you know i'll just put this value to something like 0.03 or so and let's see what do we get all right guys so yeah it has done rendering for uh, and you know it took like 4 minutes 30 seconds and i guess you know it will take like 6 to 7 minutes or for for like per frame and it's not a bad you know like it's not that bad i mean it is bad but it's not that bad considering man mantra is like so slow So yeah you can see like you know right now we are having this foam is like looking kind of little bit really thin so what we can do is we can just go back to our object level and you know you can always come here and increase this point scale okay so what i'll do is i'll just click on this snap button and you know i'll just try to render this much area again and let's see what is the difference when we increase this uh, point scale how does the foam looks All right, so you can see when we have put this point scale to 0.2, we are having a little bit bigger particles, and you know it just looks uh, the foam look lot better. Okay, and you can anytime increase the resolution for the flip and the white water yourself. So yeah, I think that is it for our codes, and you know let's see how we can do a final render, how we can save everything uh, as a image sequence. So very easy, you can just go to this output. click on this mantra and into this images we have this option of this output picture i can go to my desktop where i have like saved everything and here i can you know say like render i can go inside this one i can say dollar f dot and make sure you always write the extension of the image otherwise you won't be able to open it and click on accept and that is it so one one most important thing is you know you should always have a camera in your scene okay otherwise you know this thing won't get rendered so make sure to click on this camera now we have this camera in our scene and now we can successfully render out everything so let's just go to this and change the valid frame range from render current frame to render frame range and click on this render to disk and now it's going to start rendering uh, each and every frame also you need to make sure that uh, like each and every frame is cached out and you have saved it to the disk so that you can render it out however you can even render it out without saving it to the disk okay so let's say if you are doing a personal project you can do that 
and you know like that even speeds up things because you know now we are uh, you know disregarding all that read and write time okay however in a production environment please don't do that or you'll be fired okay just like how i was fired okay all right so yeah that is it and i hope you guys liked it and i hope you guys have learned something and that too in a very easy way so if you if you have liked uh, my videos you can just subscribe to the channel and just make sure to ring the you know bell icon because now uh, i'm just making these kinds of tutorials like in every week so yeah also you can check out our website we have uh, we give online courses for hudni and maya xgen and all that stuff so yeah that's it let's meet in the next tutorial till then take care bye bye